20 to Ready is brought to you in part by FoodInsurance.com, a daily bread company. Food Insurance provides freeze-dried emergency food storage and supplies. More information is available at FoodInsurance.com. Oh, hi. I'll be with you in a minute. Today we'll be discussing keeping clean during an emergency when the water might be off for some time. Meet Kurt, a busy dad who's concerned about getting his family prepared for a disaster. And here's Jeff, a public safety official who's an expert on getting ready for the unexpected. Together they'll find ways to prepare that don't take a lot of time. It's important to keep clean during emergencies. It'll keep you and others more healthy. There are several products you can store to help you keep clean when faced with a shortage of water. Take these no rinse bathing wipes. Just one should help you clean up. You can also use baby wipes, although it may take a few more to help you get the job done. And if you're not a fan of baby powder scent, you can get these unscented. It doesn't take a lot of water for a quick spit bath. A damp cloth and some bath gel, a quick wash over strategic areas will go a long way toward keeping you clean. Rinse the cloth and go over those same areas to pick up any gel residue. Rinse the cloth again and hang it out to dry. If it's not too cold outside, you can use a camp shower if you've stored enough water. Just fill up the bag and then place it outside. The black color inside will trap the heat and then transfer that to the water. Now when you're ready for a shower, just hang the bag and open the valve and you'll have enough warm water for a quick shower. Emphasis on quick though. It's important to keep your clothes clean during an emergency. It'll help you physically and mentally deal with the event. You can make a kit to help you wash clothing in an emergency. First you need a five gallon bucket. There's a hole in the lid for the handle of the agitator, which in this case is a toilet plunger, one that you're not going to use for its normal purpose. There's laundry detergent and a bottle of bleach and also some rope that you can use to hang your clothes out to dry. So to use it, we're going to put the clothes inside the bucket and then we're going to add just enough water to cover the clothes. Now we're going to add some detergent and bleach if needed for underwear or to sanitize in case of sickness. Put the lid on and then agitate. Okay, now we will pour off this excess water, save it for the next batch, wring out as much of this water as we can. We'll then pour in some clean water to rinse it, place the agitator back on, agitate it really good to get the last of the soap out, pour off this excess water one more time. Bring out the clothes, and then hang them on the line to dry. Even in cold weather, clothes will eventually dry, especially if there is a breeze. Making an effort to keep clean during an emergency will make getting through the experience more comfortable. Take 20 minutes to round up the supplies to keep your and your family's bodies and clothes a little cleaner. I'll see you next time. Visit kbyutv.org to get your free 20 to Ready Emergency Preparedness Guide. 20 to Ready is brought to you in part by FoodInsurance.com, a daily bread company.